Hello, my sweeties. It's Sweet Tea here, and welcome to my next video. This one is going to be an unbagging of a PR package from New Craft Day. Love these guys. They sell some really cool products, and I'm going to show you a few of them. Let's see here. We're going to start, I think. I guess I'll start with this one. This is a diamond painting. It is a... It's a partial special drill. Put that right there. Oh, let's see what we got here. We got some pretty rhinestones. That is your typical diamond painting kit. And this is truly all you need if you are starting out and you just bought this kit and you've never done it before. That is all you need. A pink pen. It doesn't have to be pink, but a pen. Diamond painting pen. One little uh, brick of wax, red wax, and a green boat. That is truly all you need to start. And if you like what you're doing here, then you can go into buying the special pens, etc. The non extra trays, the putty, and different things to use, like wax. So your ABs and all kinds of special drills, etc. But we've got some really cool specials here. We got rhinestones and we got some really cute. Um, is that marquee? That's marquee. Oh yeah. All right. So this one is a 30 by 40. I'll roll it up just a little bit. See if it's going to lay flat for me. Oh, all righty. It's a very pretty floral. And let's see if we can. This is going to. We're just going to loosen it up a little bit. Loosen up the stick on the clear cover here, just a little bit. Try to help it relax. You know, if you do this and then you kind of put it away with maybe under some books or under some other paintings. Or whatnot. I, I've got portfolios. I've got like five, I think five or six portfolios that I've got diamond paintings in. Uh, some done and some not done. And basically, I just, if I'm not ready to work on it, I will put it in one of those more than likely. <clears throat> or I also have a box of things that are impending that I've got to do. Or that I really want to do quickly. I've got just a box that I keep everything flat in. So, but yep, it can it'll relax as you go along. So, this one here is a pretty floral. Like I said, it's a partial. You do not diamond paint all of it. Looks like the letters should come out pretty good. They're done in a dark. It looks like uh oh my. Does that say 310 AB? How can that be? can't <laughs> it definitely says a b so this might be in like a 310 a b cool i like that idea to put an a b right there that's all right but what it's basically saying is be still and know that i am god and it has some beautiful flowers here this is what we will be drilling and all the different specials go in there. I love the coloring right in there. All nice and fallish on that orange. Oh, pretty. Very nice. Ooh, that one's cute. I like it. Let's see if I... I don't think the thumbnail is really going to work for me. Uh, close enough. But anyway, that is going to be really super pretty. I'm going to sit it right there for now. Uh, let's go through these real quick just for the... Hey, hey. Sorry for the pink one. Not one of my favorite sounds. But unfortunately, it's just something that's got to happen, right? Alrighty. Oh, it looks like we've got some black rhinestones. We got some deep, like, teal. We got some light green. We got some deep pink. We got what well, looks like gold. Ooh. Got some orange. We got there. Uh, 
looks like a pastel orange. Uh, that almost looks like a brown there. Ooh, we've got something that looks almost like, wow, that is so pretty. It's hard to, well, it looks just plain orange there, but to my naked eye, it just looks like a beautiful pastel orange. You got a red. You got, um, that's like a, a light red, although it looks orange. Interesting. It almost looks pink to my eye. And there is some more pink. Then there's like some, what in the world is that? Looks like a champagne color and a lighter orange. Then we come into some very small teal marquise. Ooh, pretty. Then we've got our, these are faceted pink marquise that are bigger. And oh my goodness, we've got some beautiful teal rhinestones there. Oh, those are going to be gorgeous. All those pretty colors. That is going to be gorgeous. Okay. While I've got this sitting here, I wanted to show you this. I just basically ordered me just, you know, uh, some, it looks like maybe a quantity of, I think it said it was quantity of five or so release papers. And what these are for is a lot of times people might not like this particular covering on their diamond paintings. They might like to actually cover it. Now, I know that everybody is telling me that you do not use waxed paper on your diamond painting. Do not substitute this clear coating here, this clear cover, with wax paper. It will be a, a, a train wreck. So they said to use parchment paper on there, and it shouldn't stick. It should use just like these release papers. But um, I thought that I would get some of these, and then basically I could take this clear covering off and just cover them with these, and I could do one section at a time, which is I started out doing that at the beginning and found it's easier for me just to start down in this corner Pick one color, usually that first color there, and I'll do all of that color. Then I'll just go along this bottom line and do all of those colors, and then I'll work my way up. That's just, I'm weird. <laughs> Let's just say I am weird that way, and that's the way I do it, but it works for me, and any whatever way you do yours is great. If you're happy with how you do it, fantastic. Not everybody's going to do it that way, and a lot of people, they love sectioning them off, especially the bigger canvases. I am going to put a link to all of these uh, items down below so you can check them out on the website and get the prices. All right, let's see. Ooh. I'm going to go with this guy right here. Let's see what this one is all about. These things really, really stick. I'm going to put that over there. All right. This one is a 30 by 30. It is a full round. So there's our colors here. It looks like, like an oceany blue. Then we've got some darker colors. There's a dark green. Oh, and then we've got some yellows. Almost coral color there for me. And then a brick color and caramel color. And then a lighter green. So, yeah, I'm seeing some teals in there and some beiges, whatnot. I'm not going to show all those out, but <clears throat> I thought this one was really cute. It said, I could have sworn it said it was a special drill, but no, it's not a special drill. It is a, um, a full round, which is really cute. I love this. It's sea motif. It's got a wreath. It's got a bunch of seashells. I love the sea. I love seashells. I love shiplap. And that's what looks like we got blue shiplap back here. And honest to goodness, I cannot read what it says. <laughs> Can I read it in there? Something sea and then something soul. So it's something about the sea and the soul and your soul. So, yeah, I will look that up and put it like right here 
what it says so you'll know. But this is really super pretty. For a 30 by 30, it's really cute. It has 18 colors. No, yes, 18 colors. It does have the DMC code. It's got two legends. Now, on my other one over here, it's got 17 shapes and sizes on it. And they do have the crystal codes on there. So, so, so cute. I like this. This is really pretty. I think that's going to be gorgeous. And it might very well go in my bathroom upstairs. I'm going to have the whole walls, all of the walls covered up in diamond paintings. <laughs> I probably will. Knowing me. Now, here's along that line, here's something different. I used to cross stitch a long time ago. In fact, I've got some pictures hanging up in my master bathroom of some seashells that uh, I actually did a couple of cross stitch. Uh, it was a twin, it was a set that went together and I got them framed in my bathroom down here. So I'm probably gonna end up putting these in there as well, or this in there. It's really cute. It says, Shells of the Lighthouse. It is a cross stitch. It is a 14 count. It says it's gonna be a 22 by 16 centimeter. And it says, Welcome Each New Day. And the lighthouse here looks like the lighthouse in North Carolina. And that's where I live, in North Carolina. So that sold me kind of right there because I love that. And the seashells are very pretty. I love all those colors. It looks like I'm going to have some stitching to show each individual shell, which is going to be interesting. So up here it says it contains the cotton fabric, the cotton thread, the needle, and the instructions. Alrighty. And it does have on here how to choose the strands. So it does say for 14 counts, you're going to use two strands for each stitch. And then for if it were 11 count, you would use three. Okay. And of course, each thread is going to be six strands total. So you would pull off the two at a time for the 14 count. And let's just, it's got instructions on how to do cleaning and maintenance. You've got notes, stitch instructions. you got embroidery descriptions. So they actually show you how to do those stitches. So let's see if I can get in here and see what we have in here. Ooh. Yeah, right now this is kind of my speed. It's nice and small. <laughs> Whenever I cross-stitched, I do not remember these. Th this being like this. When I cross-stitched, it was a long time ago. When I was a lot younger. So, But I did love cross-stitching whenever I did it. So this right here is foreign to me, looking at this grid. I never had this before. But I did have an image. I just didn't have this. And I've actually done cross-stitch that I had to count and actually put it where it needed to go. So, and that takes a lot of, of really paying attention to everything. So, but this is going to be, it looks like it's going to be easy peasy. So that's what the canvas looks like. That's a 14 count. And then here is your floss or your threads. And it, they've got them separated in the different colors. And actually, back here, they have the, the DMC codes. It, that's what it would be, is DMC codes. There's your 310. There's your 5200. Yeah, I mean, they just, that's how I learned what a DMC code was. So whenever I started diamond painting, I'm like, oh, they use DMC codes. Cool. So there you go. There's all your threads. Really pretty. It's not a lot. Let's see what else we have here. So then we have our diagram. Let's see what's inside here. Nothing. Okay, so here, here's what they show. They show full stitches. So here's what you're going to use for full stitches. And then here's what you're going to use for back stitches. The color's there. Okay. And then here is your diagram of what everything is going to be. So, and they even show the different backstitch there, and they show, if you'll look, 
they show red stitching and the back stitching and they show the orange back stitching and what other color did they say they had Oop. a green there's a green back stitching which is here actually it's just the writing here in green so i'm going to be using the orange to do the lighthouse back stitching and it looks like there's the red for the birds and all of that is going to be back stitched to show each shell, which is going to be interesting. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of backstitching. But pretty. How cute is that? I like it. All right. So, yep, this is going to be something different than I'm going to be doing. I can't say exactly when I'm going to be doing it. But I am going to be doing it at some point in time. Cute, cute, cute. So New Craft Day, they offer a lot of different products, so you need to get on there and see what all that they offer. They're going to have, of course, diamond painting tools and whatnot, and also cross-stitch tools and whatnot. And I'm sure that they've got other items on there to do. I'm sure they've got a, ouch, different kind of kits to do. But there you go. That is going to be really super cute. I like that. Now, this one here, it's interesting, you know, I keep waiting on these packages, packages to come in and keep waiting, keep waiting, keep waiting. And unfortunately, I see somebody else unboxing something that I really wanted to show before anybody else, but it didn't happen. <laughs> so that's okay. So Joan Diamond Paints actually just unboxed this. If you haven't watched Joan Diamond Paints, please get on there and watch her. She is I think she has just got the cutest laugh. That's all I'm going to say. She is just cool to listen to. Uh, she's young, and she's just, she's got an interesting job. She might not think it's so interesting, but I think that, you know, I think she's an interesting person. So get on there and watch Joan Diamond Paints. But your typical toolkit, but with some plastic tweezers, because they're special. Sometimes they give you them, and sometimes they don't. And here are the drills. Like a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of rhinestones. I do see some specials in there, so we'll have to open that up momentarily. Let's see if we can make this relax. It's a very stiff canvas. Very stiff. All right, let's see if it's going to... I think it might help a little bit if I, like, let it relax. 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 Everyone needs to relax. Breathe in. Breathe out. Nice and slow. But here we go. This is what I want to do for the fall, y'all, with Diamond Grandma. That is going to come up in October. And I am so excited. I've got so many things coming in. Um, to work on and this is going to be one of them and it's going to be really exciting there are 10 shapes and sizes and colors on here there are two legends I'm going to try to put that up there and you can kind of see the colors anyway but yeah it says be joyful be thankful and give thanks yep and the flowers are super super cute look at that Ooh, that one's pretty right there. It almost looks like a magnolia. Almost. I don't know exactly what that is. But pretty, and I love the shiplap in the back. That is gorgeous. And this is a 30 by 40 special. There is area back in here I will not be working on. But I will be doing all of the um, pumpkin jars and the flowers. Except for right down in here. So... Yes, let's just take a look at the drills real quick and then we're going to get to our last item. All right, we got some clear rhinestones, some deep green. Uh, it looks like a red to me, but it looks almost orange there. Is that two the same? Nope, it's three and four. Interesting. So one's darker than the other. 
And then you've got this beauty. And there's some deep brown. That's some kind of a champagne yellow there. More. That's definitely orange there. Then we can look like we've got some black rhinestones there. And then we've got our golden marquees. How pretty are they? That's going to be nice. And the world moved. Wow. Cute. I am liking this. Okay, here we go. This is my last one here. Oh, sigh. Let's see if I can get this puppy open without it sticking to me. I tried to maneuver this guy out. He wants to stay in. Okay. Alrighty then. Oh, this is going to be backwards. Nice. <laughs> oh, alright. We're going to go this way then. La, 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 la. It's another special. And it's just got your basic toolkit. Basic toolkit's all you need. Basic toolkit's all you need. And then we've got our drills. Which it looks like there's a lot of pretty deep gold and some orange. Orange. Let's turn it this way. It is an extremely stiff canvas. Oh my gracious. It doesn't even want to. Mm. I have never. <laughs> I've never had to hand, manhandle one so badly. That is really holding on. That is holding on. Holy cow. Okay. <sighs> this is one I'm going to be doing for my son. And it's got 12 different shapes, sizes, and colors. It has just one legend. Let me get up here and there you go. It's a 30 by 40. And it says, to my amazing son, always remember that mom loves you. You are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and loved more than you know. I didn't give you the gift of life. Life gave me the gift of you. Love, mom. And it's got these gorgeous tigers here. And mama is holding on to the baby. Oh, so precious. I love the border. Look at that. That is neat. This is a partial. There's a lot of writing on here that hopefully is going to be all one color. And I'm thinking that's going to be different colors for each word. But each word is showing as one color, which is good. We don't want to mix colors in words because that just kind of takes away and it's kind of harder to read. So... Yes, this is gorgeous. I'm going to be loving doing this particular one for my son. Yep, how pretty is that? So, so nice. And we're going to look at the drills real quick. We've got our clear. We've got our yellow, our gold. Look at that. Wow. There's the orange. That is a champagne -y color there. We've got some white ABs. I'm seeing that rainbow in there. You might not be able to. My camera doesn't like to pick that up, but those are white ABs. You've got something that looks grayish or smoke colored. You've got some beautiful green. They sometimes call that Kelly green. In the camera, it looks more like a teal color, but my eye sees that as just a Kelly green. That is another champagne -y color there. You've got some beautiful red discs there and some amber. Ooh, that is pretty. That is going to be nice. I'm going to love doing that. So, to recap, we have got our, our tigers partial. We've got our partial uh, pumpkin jars. We've got our beautiful lighthouse seashell cross stitch. We've got our seashell wreath. And we've got our be still and know I'm God partial here, along with our release papers. Thank you so much, New Craft Day, for these fantastic, absolutely wonderful and beautiful. They're going to be beautiful 
projects for me to do. I adore them and I appreciate them so, so much. And I hope everybody here has liked this video. And if so, please hit that like button. It helps me out and it helps YouTube out to know what everybody is enjoying. So um, please uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. If you've not subscribed, consider subscribing and hit that all notification bell so you will be notified when my next video comes up. I have enjoyed showing you this from New Craft Day. Thanks again, New Craft Day. I love all you guys. God loves all you guys. Please give someone a smile and a big old supportive hug today. Take care of yourselves. And take care of your loved ones and pets. Love you. Sweet tea is signing off. Ta-ta for now.